the Joe Rogan experience. People who are from there, who come to America, who understand the dangers of it, they, they, it's, it's a very eerie warning. Yeah. You know, I had Melissa Chen on my podcast. Yeah. And she was descri- described. I follow her. She's great. She's really great. Yeah. And, but her worries about China are, you know, like a lot of people are like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. like, no, no, no. She, she really actually understands what the dangers are. Yeah. And that's the dangers of accepting authoritarianism. Yeah. Ath- authoritarianism in this country is like, there's a lot of people that like it because it silences their opponents, mm-hmm. right? They're like this, what's going on right now with like parlors getting shut down and, you know, Amazon pulls it from their servers and then Apple pulls it off of their uh, app store and then Google pulls it off the Google Play store and everybody's like, yeah, good, they're spreading hate. Like, hmm, what percentage is spreading hate? Like, what's the numbers? And the- is this is this wise that we shut down all discourse that you agree with? Like, yeah, it's it's not good if someone gets on there and they, they're talking about violence against the government or violence against individuals or or they're spreading racist ideas or what, whatever the fuck they're doing that's that's that that, that, that that disturbs people and angers people. You're right. That's not good. But I do not think that the solution is to shut them down because... The real problem is that it, it sets a weird precedent. It sets a precedent where the people that are in power can decide that something is wrong speak, something is bad, and you can just eliminate it completely. Yeah. And then when things like that happen, they keep going. They don't just stop at that. They don't stop at things that we can all agree are, are terrible. They, they, they go to things that maybe you don't think are terrible, right. but other people do think are terrible. And then they keep going further than that. You see this with the left. Like, there's a lot of people that claim to be leftist. They claim to be left-wing, but they're not quite left-wing enough, mm. and so they get taken out yeah. by people who are more left-wing. Yeah. And it gets weird because it becomes this like sort of like political ideological wrestling match yeah. for control of like what is the left and what is the center. Yeah. Where is the right? If you disagree with anything on the left, you're the right. Right. And you might be extreme right. Right. Yeah. No, that you're a Nazi if you disagree. Yes. But I think it, it. What you're saying already happened because with this incident, you're going like, okay, we blame Donald Trump's the president. His rhetoric was kind of, you know. You can interpret it as like he kind of gave them license to go do that. So shouldn't the buck the buck stop with Donald Trump? Like Donald Trump, that's even a little bit of a debatable thing. You're going like he was speaking legally. You're going like that's a First Amendment thing. He was speaking. He said peacefully go over there. there it's yeah, interpretable. But he gives mixed signals. Yeah, of course. The problem I, in with my him opinion is, is he, he did. says we have to be strong. You have yeah. to go march to the Capitol. Yeah. He gives mixed signals and he says like we have to do this correctly. We have to respect our right. great country. Like. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What was that shit you said the other day? Right, right. You said that they don't respect anything other than strength. Right. Like, you said, go march towards the cap. You're, you're firing people up. And you're firing people up, but they live with their mom. They're, they're in the basement. Yeah. They have no fucking job. Their identity is at- entirely associated with this movement. Yeah. No, my opinion is that. But I'm saying legally, it's debatable. Like, what he said. You, right. could, you could argue it in court. But then the buck should stop there. I mean, th- it's already happening where they're going, oh, no, let's take... Let's take this opportunity to shut down Parlor. Let's take this opportunity. They're going after Andy Noe's book now. Let's get that out of stores. Let's. Uh, let, they they want to keep going yeah. because like it's uh, this orgy of kind of like let's shut down this stuff that leads to. And you're like, wait a second. How can you prove it leads to that? I mean, idiots are going to do what idiots do. Like, and to me, that was a coup attempt. That was a coup attempt by guys who believe like that's what you'd expect a coup attempt would look like by guys who believe like that Hillary Clinton's a shapeshifter and she turns into a <laughs> reptile. That's what it, you'd imagine it would look like. Like, yeah. what are we doing? Okay, let's fucking let's go in there with Trump flags and take selfies and God, so it's so dumb. And let's go kidnap Nancy Pelosi with zip ties. Zip ties, <laughs> yeah. stacks of zip ties, like yeah. more zip ties than there are members of the Senate. Yeah. If anything, it was just like an inept coup yeah. attempt. Yeah. Well, it's losers. Yeah. It's losers who decided that this is their moment in the sun. Yeah. And meanwhile, they're they're all COVID deniers, so they're not wearing masks. No. Because they're so fucking stupid. Catch new episodes of the Joe Rogan Experience for free only on Spotify. Watch back catalog JRE videos on Spotify, including clips. Easily, seamlessly switch between video and audio experience. On Spotify, you can listen to the JRE in the background while using other apps and can download episodes to save on data cost all for free. Spotify is absolutely free. You don't have to have a premium account to watch new JRE episodes. You just need to search for the JRE on your Spotify app. 
Go to Spotify now to get this full episode of the Joe Rogan Experience.